Okay, you can see here where I dremeled that positions out. Well, I've got some glass size I'll glue in there. And uh, I use a little bit of the sawdust I saved from other grindings. And I, when I put wood glue in there, I'll put a little bit pinch of the sawdust around it to keep it from being just a glued surface. Kind of hide the glue. And you can see where I've defined the wings. I dremeled them out. On, or feathers, excuse me, not wings. The wings are back here, but the feathers. And my, you can leave them like this if you want that rigid effect. I'm going to smooth them down because I like them so that they roll over. I like to call them lumpy feathers, but that's my personal preference. And I'll also roll this edge down so that it's not so sharp. Let me show it to you. And uh, smooth that down on all of these feathers, including the backs, where it's kind of a, a sharp edge. But you can, I have left them sharp before out of preference. And I like to hollow out some space here underneath the head before I glue it on to give a little more room for glue to wood glue to be there and it makes a much stronger bond. I've never had a head come off in 30 years. Here's a couple different uh, Dremel bits. This one I use a lot for making the definition. This one is a little more demanding, it's a little harder to control, but you can carve in the lines for the feathers on the back here, of the wings with much more, uh, uh, gives better detail, not necessarily more control, because it is hard to control. Here's an idea of the glass eyes that I was talking about for the duck, and uh, for putting into the, the socket there, I'm just giving an example, a little bit of it. This, this one's clear, and I li really like the clear ones, because I painted the color of the eye according to what kind of duck I want to make. And they, you can get them a hundred at a time. They're wonderful glass eyes. Okay, I'm not so sure how much you're going to be able to see as far as the defi definition, but I did round these off to like the way I like them, to wood burn them. And same with this, and I, I dremeled in here to define these back feathers for the wings and smooth these out a little more. It's far from uh, picture perfect, but it's like this little uh, um, knot here. I'm going to leave it and not burn it. Just kind of leave it like a beauty mark. It's my plan. So I've done that before on other ones. I don't know if it's on the one I did. not on this one, it's be on a different one. But that's what I've gotten, so I like to do it. I'll, I'll wood burn over this, but I'll leave that knot. One other thing I was going to mention is that sometimes it's easier to wood burn back here before you glue the head on, depending on personal preference and whether or not you can get your wood burner into that area easily or not. Because this is what I use for a wood burner. And it makes nice little fine feather lines. It doesn't look like there'll be a whole lot of trouble getting in there. Decide that here in a bit. <laughs> 